we just parked our car. Now we're walking to the Moody Night Market. Support. Oh look, yellow fin tuna or fried salad. I want to get that for dad. But I don't know how it's going to be. Oh, give me a crepe then. Thank you. Kia ora. I follow you. Oh, you do? Yeah, you're welcome. That mine? Thank you. Thank you, yum. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome, Thank you. Hello, can I have a takeaway um, lamb shanks, please? More people are still coming. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you even got a wasabi in it. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting ready to leave this beautiful accommodation that we moved into for one week. And we've got our stuff ready. Then we're gonna move to our third accommodation. Third accommodation, guys, had to suddenly be changed from the one that we had not far from here because 
when we went back on the reviews of the accommodation, it said that there's a like um, what we call in Samoa the alcohol law. There's a lot of it. Um, that's what people had mentioned. And alcohol law in Samoa is very scary. <laughs> well, if it bites you. Well, I do not want to take the risk. So I said to Sharon, can she please cancel that one? And we go to another one. Then she found one because there weren't much left. She canceled the other B&B and now we're going to go to an accommodation that's closer to the sea. I'll show you guys to the next accommodation. It's not as nice and fancy spanky like this one, but it had a lot of great reviews. So guys, we're going to take it for the reviews that it had and be happy. I, uh, mm -hmm. So we'll put on a load of washing towels and hand towels and everything. And then after that, we're gonna um, put it in the dryer. We're gonna just leave it. So then we're gonna let the owner know that their stuff is in the dryer, you know. Elvis is trying to put a fire on because at this place, they have that little bonfire thing there. And that's what Elvis is trying to put together. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, this is your pie here. There's a, a steak and cheese, this one here. Which one? They ran out of paper, paper thing. Say goodbye. Take a look at yours, Danny. Does it taste all right? I had got more potatoes today than the other day. See guys? The other day we bought a pie and um, it didn't have a lot of potato. That's still good. And it was a little bit hotter because I love, love hot pie. I got apple and um, peach. So cheers guys. I also got um, chocolate chip cookies. Goodies to take for my sister-in-law. <laughs> yeah, so we got fruit salad, chicken, um, pancakes, salad, egg salad, coleslaw. Oh, and the juice. Uh-huh. So that's their lunch today, and we better go and give it before it gets to but well, there's a warm chicken under there, so we better go. Look at Sharon. She's on a hammock. This is the, um, my sister-in-law's property. Yeah. Yeah, this is my sister-in-law's property. And she let her daughter build those free accommodations. Yeah, yeah, I know, I saw that. Yeah. Nice down there. Imagine waking up and going for a dip in the, the sea and then... <laughs> Yeah, come on then, let's go. Bye, sister. See you. Oh, we will, hopefully, God willing. This is supposed to be our accommodation. Um, kind of different from the one that we just come from. Yes, this is the place, so we just have to release our suitcase. Hope there's no dogs around here. And there's the beach down there. Mm -hmm. Anyone home? Um. Oh. 
She's coming. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. The bathroom's here. Pretty dark. I hope they have a like a lamp. Mm-hmm. And this is the bed. Okay, it's got books. sharing um, a single bed each. There it is. This is the, the roof. So my height is all right to come here. And um, where should I sleep? This side, yeah. Okay, this is mine. That's Tangaroa's. And yeah, look what we have. <laughs> I hope we don't go rolling down these steps. Tangaroa didn't waste no time to eat. He's got a couple of malorals and he's having a feed. Okay. I'm making um, bacon um, bok choy. I've already started frying. It's only my for me and Sharon because Elvis said. Don't worry about him. He's got the um, the brown in this. I marinated the steak first with some soy sauce and um, garlic powder and um, onion powder. Put the lid on for two minutes and it's all cooked. That's the steak and the pork joy there. So take a bite, guys. Ouch. Tangata went down for a walk down to the beach and see if we can actually swim there. Did Dad swim? Dad, did you swim? No, nah, he we went for a nosy. And my drink is juice. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. So we just parked up and now we're walking into the Air Varo. Okay, because the girl said that we could park behind here to get a free parking since we're going over to Aitutaki. So if we get a ticket, it's her fault. That side over there is for international. This side over here is for um, the outer islands. Thank you. 
Yeah. Put about 50 Japanese on this bus. Eh? <laughs> Your Honor, welcome to the beautiful island of Haiti. How was your flight in? Was it good? Good. All safe. Okay, how was the aerial view when you guys were getting closer to the island? Was it alright? Beautiful day. Beautiful. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so my name is Ali. Okay, no, I am not Muslim. Alright, it is Shoko Alistair. So everybody calls me Ali. So I'll be your guys' guy for today, I'll be your host for today. Okay, I will be looking after you guys for today. So I'm meeting if you guys have any questions, queries, you would love to know about the island, please ask me. I will try my very best in answering them. Just bear in mind, if you guys ask me a stupid question, hey, you're going to get a stupid answer. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Oh, you said challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stupid answer. Oh, mate, you... I'm not gonna go there. There's so many I have been going through, eh? So guys, welcome to the beautiful island of Aitsak. So our program, the first part of your guys Aitsak day trip, I'm gonna take you guys to a small island tour. Just to give you a breakdown of what you will be doing for the day. See, with me as a tour guide, I like to keep it a surprise, eh? <laughs> In other words, we're just gonna wing it. Hey, right, we're gonna go for island tour first, leaving the airport at the northern end. We're gonna make our way along the northeastern side of Aitsak. As we're making our way along the roads, I will be sharing with you guys a lot of history about the beautiful island of Aitsaki and also stopping at the number one surf shop here in the Cook Islands on the beautiful island of Aitsaki. So this is kite surfers paradise. Those of you who don't know, kite surfing, my friends, is always out here in Aitsaki. We get all their gears, t-shirts, tanks. Oh, so a little bit of history about the island in itself, starting off with our airport. So for those of you who don't know, you have actually just landed on the very first airport to be built in the whole of the islands. That airstrip right there was built in World War II okay, by the lovely Americans itself. The same time as the one up in Penrith. So it was an access way the Americans were creating. Okay, it was where they could fly from America, Hawaii, Hawaii, Penrith, Penrith, Aitsaki, America, somewhere down in the corner right here, just in case the war got out of hand. So 850 <laughs> soldiers was living here on our island itself. They constructed very first airport right here. Okay, my friends, and in 2017, we celebrated the 75th anniversary back in 2017 okay, for our airport itself. So basically what we did, we remembered those who gave up their time, their home, their family, country, building our airstrip right there. So very thankful for what the Americans did for our small island, like water. Hey guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. See the uncle when you talk so much like Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm catching up with the uncles over here. Hey guys, please say thank you to Graham right here. Hey guys, thank you for putting back into our... Uh Spinach on the side right here. Oh. 
We got a 50 tonner with a long arm that's dredging right now. This dredging started back in 2021 when we were celebrating. See, the Americans were the ones who dug our passageway out, but they never finished it because the war finished early. So now we've got a 50 tonner that dug its way all the way out there, and you can see the stockpile at the airport on the old runway. All right, we're going to backfill the more landmarks in the islands. See, my friends in my culture, I hold a very high ranking title. One of the highest in town. So you my friends, one of our chiefs is called Pamako. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the Pukukukuku of Pamako Ari. So what does that mean? I am the right hand man for our chief, Pamako. So my friends, my grandfather used to carry this uh, title before me, but he passed away back in 2012. So the family sat down and they chose me, I didn't want the title. Come down. I was talking to the, uh, the 
Danny, I'll hold it. Oh, heavy, what's in here? The TV.
I'm having an uh-oh. I've been anxious since I had one. One foot island. He's trying to find an audience. They love me, eh? Did you spray your arm? Nope. Yeah, where'd you get it from? Do we have to call the police? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the leaves, yeah, the leaves, my friends, is also medicinal. Yeah, when we were younger, our grandmother loves to collect the leaves and she would crush it inside fresh water. After yeah. Yeah. Right, my friends, so this is tomato yeah. mahogany. Any questions about mahogany itself? I would say maybe about 30, 30 years. Yeah, a little kind of I'm showing you this now because when we go further in, you'll see the bigger ones. All right, well, we'll see you then. All right. Mm -hmm. So Brett will be having me share with you guys how to hunt a coconut here today. Okay. Very quickly I'm going to see what we we'll soon understand each other. So I play a lot of rugby here in the islands. I love drinking coconut water with salt. Yeah, that's a natural power red right there. It lasts 80 minutes without any cramps. Okay, sometimes when you're having like a upset tummy, have a chill. Okay, my friends, good way to soothing your stomach as well. So that's the younger one up there. But how do you know which one to pick? You actually got to pick and then you tap. Listen to the sound. When it's like higher pitch, that means it's becoming a ripe coconut. So it's a bit too old. But when you tap and it's low, it's too young. A shell is not hard enough for you to hush. Or else when you hush, it will break the shell. Okay? Fine. So we need a... Oh, you guys want to see coconut tree climb? Yeah. Fred, yeah. are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you want to see that, go to Rarotonga on Koka and uh, Captain Tama, they will share with you coconut tree climbing. Yeah. It was very windy last week. Okay. That's why they show stuff this week. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah, and I just said we call this in my left hand pa'eru. Can you guys say that? Pa One more time, pa'eru. Pa so in Rarotonga they will say ko. Can you guys say that? Ko. Cool. So in English it's called the what? Stick. No. <laughs> That's right. It's a sharp stick. <laughs> so rub in into the ground. Two feet on the side of the stick. Okay, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Oh, how's his insurance? Uh, like uh, okay, we good. I'm a right hander. This is how I would stand. Okay, I like to keep my left leg in the front right here. Bend my knees, keep my balance, and then we start around here. Why? Because that's the softest area on the coconut. You gotta try and get that stick. You ready? First thing we're gonna do, kill the coconut. <laughs> if you don't kill it, we'll jump up, run away. <laughs> so, right hand will push directly to the sharp stick. Until the husk comes off, then my lift leaves. This has to take off, it's always the hardest. So how about a big round of applause for me and uh, Okay, so this is how I has a coconut. So I like to keep my lift hand here. So basically what I do with my lift, I like to wrap the hus around the sharp stick, okay? And also the hand is always here to protect you from the stick when you lose your balance at all times. So I like to do this. So what I'm sharing with you is one of our competitive sport here in the islands this is a hundred meter sprints okay the record on the men for husking coconuts here in the islands my friends it is three seconds no. their record today still stands the record for the ladies for husking coconuts here in the islands is actually two
two days. Aida. That's why here now is as me. My friends. <laughs> All right, voila. How about a big round of applause, eh? <laughs> so, my friends, while he's grooming our coconut right there, <laughs> just waste <of> time. <laughs> what I'm sharing with you, this is what we call puru. It's the hus. When we say puru, it's the hus of coconut. But this one right here, these fibers, we pull them thinly, have it in the sun, nice and dry. My friends, start a fire with Korean India will burn very easily. Mm. And there's some uh, places like Samoa and also in Hawaii, what they do, they pull it thinly, the bigger coconuts, because the house is longer. You get my friends, and they clean it out. They will break their coconut, place it in like inside, and they squeeze fresh coconut cream and stuff. So they use it like their cheesecloth or their muslin. Okay, we had lashings back in the days. And where did we get our ropes? It's mainly from this, these fibers right here. See, so yeah, we tied our canoes together our tools, our houses, our weapons, we're all lashed together. It's amazing that how Polynesian people have been sailing these oceans for so many years. Right here. And also in my hand, it's very beautiful for the men. Okay, here on the island of Aitzaki, this is also used as a source of hair extensions. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> So ladies, if your husband has a loss of you here, come see me after, we'll fix it one day. So many years for that. For our ladies on the island of Aitita, who loves gardening, this is actually a beautiful container for you. You can close it up. Chicken mesh will hold it intact. Soil inside here, plant your favorite flower. Normally what our mamas would love to grow inside here would be an orchid. Orchid grows really well mm. inside, they say. Yeah. When you water, water sucks into the fibers and it acts like pig moss, you only have to water once or twice a week. Very good container. Have a little veranda, flowers coming out on the side. So very beautiful for the ladies who loves gardening. Mosquito day, we use this a lot. All our four chiefs on our island, I stuck at their crown, made from the hus. Okay, the other taunga I shared with you, they the people, it's a taunga up there who makes all our chiefs crown as from this. And then we come to our coconut right here, nicely done, mate. On each and every coconut, you got a nice smiley face. Please smile, mate. <laughs> Two eyes, bridge of the nose and the mouth. So the young ones up on the tree, the straw always goes through the mouth. You can tell it's the two eyes because they look identical to each other. Okay, the mouth looks different. That's where the straw always goes through. So how to open the coconut, my friends? There's a secret. What you have to do, look at the two eyes, turn it to your left as a mouth. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you turn it to your left or your right, as long as you hit across the straight line, you will end up with two piece. You can use a stick, you can use a rock, you can use a bush knife or machete, be careful, because I've seen somebody do this and went straight for the face. You can even use your forehead. <laughs> Are you going to show? Are you doing it? Raise, raise your hands up if you want to see this. Yes. Raise your hands up. Yes. All right. Break, close your eyes. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, but I'll make sure on a scale of 10, maybe uh, 7. So I want to try and hold some water. So. Nice little tip. All right. Fingers down the bottom. Thumb up the top while you keep your thumb to the top. That's it, right? And then, voila. So, have a big round of music. So, nice clean break. Hit the crown, it will split right around. Thank you, my friends. The white part that you guys see is a flesh of the coconut. It's very good for your teeth. That's what you guys were eating on our table. Keeps it nice and strong, nice and white. So, that is the flesh of the coconut. What are you drinking right now? Carry on drinking. That is coconut juice. Okay, my friends, that juice on my island, I took it, we call it 7 Up. <laughs> <laughs> has no sugar, has no caffeine, and in seven days, my friend will look like beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, no worse. Guys, from that, you'll find that. For those who don't know, <laughs> yeah, looks nice and white, eh? Just like my teeth. But this one looks brown, like Sharon kneecaps. <laughs> um, take your shoes off. <laughs> take, take your shoes off. Ew! <laughs> Trust me, you guys don't want to see what's in those shoes. <laughs> We 
you want to take some beautiful photos of uh <laughs> okay. Got a lot of my plate, right? This is really nice, buddy. So if you go and get them, get extra. Four four seven. Wahoo. And a bit touch here. It's raw. Mm. I stand for One Foot Island, guys. One Foot Island, it's tucky. One Big Foot Island. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 